Later that day, Senator Hawley fled after those protesters he helped to rile up stormed the Capitol. See for yourself. And now, running Josh Hawley is a meme for the ages. How Josh Hawley fled the Capitol on January 6th, 13 million views. This is your reminder that Josh Hawley is a delicate flower who raced away from his dictator curious cosplay moment and fled like a scalded dog when the dirty little people he whipped up into an orgasmic froth of revanchist violence got too near his delicately moisturized hide. Josh Hawley prancing secretly away in fear from a mob he created. Is there any doubt if Josh Hawley was a passenger on Titanic, he would have shoved aside women and children to grab one of the first seats on a lifeboat? Indeed, even spectators in the hearing room laughed at Holly as the committee showed his cowardice. <laughs> Ironically, over the past year, Holly has been urging men to be more masculine. We must seek a revival of strong and healthy manhood in America. We need men who will shoulder responsibility. Responsibility is one of God's greatest gifts to mankind, and men must be held responsible for their choices and their actions and for their lives. Men who blame others for their problems and then slink away to do nothing, or worse, who embrace violence or cruelty, deserve rebuke. Rebuke indeed, but Josh Hawley is also getting a well-deserved dose of ridicule. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Ever since the January 6th insurrection, Republican Josh Hawley has been standing by his encouragement of the rioters. He's even sold coffee mugs with an image of the famous photo of him in the words, show me strong, a riff in Missouri being the show me state. Perhaps it's time to see something like this. Indeed, it takes a special kind of cowardice to rev up violence and then run from the scene like a frightened child. A reminder, in the weeks after the November 2020 election, Josh Hawley was the first U.S. Senator to declare he would object to the slate of electors making Joe Biden president. Hawley wanted to be the guy who delivered for Trump's fanatical base. And in the hours after the January 6th riot, Hawley still objected to the submitted electors. Even when Senator Mitt Romney shouted at him on the Senate floor thundering, you have caused this, Hawley still objected to the electoral slate. Holly, of course, lost the vote, and Joe Biden was certified as president. Still, for a year and a half, Josh Hawley has been betting his allegiance to Trump would all work out politically, and that the criticism he received from Romney and others would only be short-term damage. Indeed, a lot has happened since January 2021, and many Americans may have forgotten that Josh Hawley had a role in trying to block democracy. The January 6th committee, though, rightfully decided it was time for a reminder and time to embarrass Josh Hawley. Keep in mind, this hearing was predicated on proving Donald Trump had chosen not to act in response to the rioters that day. This aside about Hawley did not help the committee's case against Trump. Still, the committee wants to exact a cost for those who sought to append the results of the 2020 election. And so, with just a few seconds of Capitol surveillance video, the committee destroyed Josh Hawley. Instead of the image Hawley wants to promote as a tough guy who gave a fist pump to the Trump fanatics, Hawley is now the slow motion guy who was frightened, fearful, and made a cowardly quick escape. This was a smart and well-played move by the January 6th committee. Josh Hawley represents the worst in conservative politics. He is a hypocrite with no shame, and history deserves to record him as a self-serving ass. Thanks for watching.